What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We are here with Atticus on the Normandy. Let's go in, check in with the last little bit of squad mates we have here. And I believe the path that I want to take is I want to go to the Citadel. There is a quest to go to the Citadel and talk to, well, wait. Oh, we can level up. We'll do that when we head out to the Citadel, since that pretty much lets us into the level up screens. There is somebody we need to recruit on the Citadel, which is a Kasumi Goto. When we get to the Citadel, or actually... Yeah, when we get to the Citadel, we will read this and see what this is about. And then we will take it from there. There is also... Oh, so it's secondary then. No? Main missions? The council. Oh, the council right here. It's actually a main quest. It's under the main missions. Before we head out, let's talk to Kelly and see if she has anything else. How may I help you, Commander? Kelly? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. She just wants to hold Garrus and tell him everything's going to be okay. We'll tell him. Don't worry, Kelly. We'll make sure he... He's, you know, able to function after that rocket to the face. <laughs> Let's read these messages see what we have. Cerberus Command request from Cerberus Command. Reports tell us you've been operating in the Omega Nebula. We'd like you to look into a situation on Loric, a nearby planet in the Father System. Oh, that's the Father System. So it was right next to... The area we need to go about doing that but i feel like i want to leave the omega well they're calling it nebula i was calling it system i want to leave the omega nebula first go to the citadel and see what happens when we come back see if anything is timed here i know it's we're going out on a limb here and seeing but i have to see if we can just kind of come back i need to test it what's the worst that can happen right scan the planet for a base where we believe eclipse mercs are holding one of our operatives you should be able to detect the operative's transmitter, extract the operative. If the operative is beyond rescue, recover any relevant intel that Eclipse may have collected. There is an operative that is captured by Eclipse. Interesting. This is a very delicate matter, Shepard. We trust in your discretion. Marcus Red. Glad I didn't sign up. From John Whitson. Hey, Arya gave me this address. I think I met you at Afterlife on Omega. You stopped me from joining up with those mercs who were trying to take out Archangel. Is this the kid? Is this the kid that we helped? Because that would be so cool. Yeah, he's the only one that we stopped to go fight Archangel. Man, I was so pissed off at you. I got blind drunk that night, and it was a few days later before I got it together enough to... Checked the news vids and saw that almost all the mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. Garrus is a monster. He was just sniping like crazy. I don't know who you are or if you got out of there alive yourself, but thanks. I felt really stupid when I heard about the body count and how I could have been part of it. I'll make the most with what you did for me, John Whitson. Yeah, that was the boy. And he got it all from Arya. Speaking of Arya, we actually need to go back to Arya and tell her about the mercs we're going to come after her. And then there was a Patriarch mission for Arya too, so we still have things on Omega. We do, and we also have things that we need to buy in the shops of Omega as well. Things are quiet again. From Omega Clinic Desk. Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solis's clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check, how bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead, thank you. The clinic is doing well, you got rid of most of the plague, and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. The Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here, I keep the mechs powered on, I won't make the same mistake twice, thanks, Daniel. Well there you go Daniel, I'm happy that you're doing well. Daniel seems to be doing very well. Rescue operative in the farther system. Alright, well, we did everything up here, yeah? Everyone on this floor is good. Let's go down to the crew quarters. Miranda's here and Garrus Vakarian. Let's go talk to Garrus. Shall we talk to Chakwas too? Do you think stuff update if we talk to Chakwas? Let's just try. 
Every time we come by a crew members, every, well, every time we come by these crew members, they seem to be talking, so let's keep trying. Another colony's gone missing. Ferris Fields, I heard. That's not far from New Canton. Did your family get back to Earth? Not yet. My mother-in-law's given us grief. Operative Lawson assures me the transport team will physically drag them away if need be. Well, I hope your family does get there, friend. I really do hope so. Alright, let's talk to Chakwas. Let's see what she's got going on. And then... We'll talk to Miranda. And then Garrus. Where's Garrus at, though, on here? Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. I really enjoyed it. Do you have any more? It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. What do you think? We must save humanity. My feelings are my own. I want revenge. I feel like we should save humanity. Yeah. Humanity needs a good saving because... Well, let's be honest. Everyone needs a good saving from the Reapers. But for some reason, the Reapers, Collectors... There's a twist going on here between the Reapers and Collectors that we just don't know fully. But I'm on board with thinking that the Reapers Connectors are connected. The Reapers Connectors are connected. Elusive Man thinks so. So, I really think so. Anyways, we must save humanity because they're being taken. Somehow, some way. Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. It better be, because that shit was expensive. <laughs> what was it, like 10 credits, probably? The next one's on me, Chakwas. Anything else? How may I help you, Commander? Leaving the Alliance, joining Cerberus, and odds of survival. We already asked her all that. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Take it easy, Chakwas. Have a good one. There's another thing on the Citadel as well, I believe. This gentleman over here... Did you hear? Another oh. colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. Friends, we have banter all over the Normandy. There's banter here now. There's banter in that back room, and there's banter above us, kind of right before the bridge. There's banter as well. Gardener. I believe we... Can we talk to him? How can I help you, Commander? Absolutely nothing. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Make sure you wash your hands. Let's talk to Miranda. Where could... Gar oh, Garrus is back there. You see it? It's green. It's lit up. That's where Garrus is. He's all the way in the back. What's up, Miranda? Miranda, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Oh, you don't want to talk, Miranda? Come on. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. I really feel like we missed something with Miranda last time. When we talked to her, there was something on the left, right before we exited the conversation. There was something that was there, I think, the first time we started investigating stuff. And I feel like we missed something. Because when I hit goodbye or talk to you later I'm telling you there was like something there but that's okay let's go talk to Garrus Garrus everything will be okay let me hold you look at his mother look at his fucking look at his outfit his armor it's got a fucking rocket hole in it <laughs> weapons disruptor torpedoes we need to read about that what's up Edie what's this area of the ship the gunnery control station the ship's batteries are controlled from here. The Combat Information Center operators send targeting information here. The CIC decides who to shoot. Gunnery Control decides how to shoot. Good on you, Garrus. This needs to be bigger, though. You're in here like a tiny little space, sir. What's up, Garrus? Shepard, need me for something? Oh, we can ask him about... Oh, Normandy upgrades. Normandy weapons and Cerberus crew. Let's just ask them this stuff first. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Cerberus crew? Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Seriously though, friends, if you think about it, Garrus has such a scary reputation. Because 
He was part of the crew that stopped Saren. If you think about it, he was the one that really put Saren down. Well, Saren put himself down, but remember how Garrus took that last shot? So, make sure he was dead. Anyways, he was part of the crew that really took Saren down, and now... He's got this Archangel... Assad. You're pretty scary, Garrus, but I know that you're a gentle giant, sir. Normandy upgrades? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Let's see what we got, Garrus. Something for the Normandy, huh? Weapons, we can't do nothing there. Armor upgrades, absolutely nothing. Ship upgrades. Danix Cannon, oh, it's this one here. We can't do this yet. We only have 5,600 platinum, and we need 15,000. Well, we'll read it when we actually go to upgrade it. Damn, Garrus, sorry. Let me know when you've got the materials for me to upgrade our guns. We need to do some scanning. We need to do a lot of scanning, and I have a feeling we are going to have so much resources. If you want my honest opinion, because just looking at Omega Nebula, there was so many other places that we can go to, and imagine how many plants are actually in there. It's going to be a lot of stuff to dig into with planet reading, and I have a feeling that this scanning situation is going to be a lot. Everything alright, Garrus? Let me hold you. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. Well, we're not really with them, are we? We're not with them? You're okay with this? Glad you're happy here? Well, I am glad you're happy here. Are we really with Cerberus yet? Do we want to say that we're with Cerberus fully? I still feel like we're almost like a contractor working for Cerberus. Parts of me doesn't want Garrus to trust them either because I don't fully trust Cerberus either. But they haven't really given us a reason not to trust them. Let's just be weary. I want to make Garrus weary of them as well. I don't want him to fully trust because what would happen if they do? If something does end up happening and then, well, we put all our trust in them and then we're the ones looking foolish. So let's still be weary. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What's the story behind all that Garrus? Squad activities, Garrus history, and squad makeup. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. You were a thug? Gangs must have hated you? Shepard, there was three fucking gangs trying to kill him. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties, that was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Can I have signed up? That actually sounds really badass, Garrus. They were helping the helpless. That's really cool. Were they giving back to the helpless though? Like Robin Hood, <laughs> steal from the rich, give to the poor? But with a twist, Robin Hood with an Archangel twist going on here. Gangs must have hated you, Garrus. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. <laughs> You're so awesome, Garrus, now. <laughs> he was already badass with a sniper. Do you remember how badass he was? Seriously, in the first game with that sniper? I can't wait until we get in combat with Garrus. He's going to be stuck on that sniper. It feels really good though, that Garrus was on the sniper. In the first game, we were able to switch him to, what, a pistol, maybe? Or, actually, yeah, possibly the pistol. But, the whole thing with his eye reticle and how awesome of a sniper he sounds, surgical, crossfire and snipers clean and surgical. 
Iris, tell me about the history. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch, and there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in, someone to stand up to the local thugs. I feel like Garrus going back to the Citadel, I feel like he's too good for that job. Does that make sense? Like, Garrus is too good of a... Of a... Know, let's just call him, I guess he was a Citadel cop. Yeah, yeah, CSEC. He was CSEC. But I'm saying he's just too good for that. His skills are too... They're way more important than just... Going and cleaning up dog shit on the fucking Presidium. Basically, that was probably what was going on there. There was nothing that people had to worry about nothing but fucking animals like shitting on their lawn and stuff. It was nothing going on there for him. He's just meant for bigger and better things. I'm just glad that he's here. It would have been cool if he did apply to the Spectre. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Garrus, you did the best you could. You really did. You were fighting overwhelming odds. And I feel like you did everything that you possibly could. And you all were doing... Well, you were doing something really dangerous. But you were doing something that was probably right. I don't feel like there's no problem. Like, they were doing something that was right. Taking the law into their own hands. It's a rough situation, yes. To take the law into your own hands like that. I feel like in the end, they were all really doing the right thing. You seen Omega. We all seen Omega. Fucking crazy. Squad makeup? Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives. CSEC agents. The usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. Squad makeup? Well, we did everything there. What happened to you? How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad, then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him, and because I didn't see it coming. You were betrayed by one of your friends. Oh, that's terrible. Give me the rundown. Maybe he's a casualty? Have you found him? I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad, and they didn't last long. Maybe he was a casualty? Maybe. I mean, it's possible. But in the end, he still betrayed Garrus. Maybe, though? What if he actually went there, and they killed him, and made off? Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Damn, Garrus, have you found him? Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Garrus, you sure you don't want to keep talking? Because I would love it if you kept talking. We have this Sedonis person. Garrus is, I could imagine, probably going to try to track him down, just like we tracked down Dr. Hart. Shepard, need me for something? Yeah, let's talk. Come on. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Some calibrations? We need to make them Normandy upgrades, though, first. So you can have some real calibrations, Garrus. All right, take Talk it. to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Basically, Garrus is the one firing the big gun down here, huh? All right, Garrus, it's been a pleasure, my friend. It really has. Let's go talk to Zaid. Let's see what Zaid's going on about. And then I believe it's time to get to the Citadel. 
Zaid's down here with uh, engineers. But Zaid don't really have much in the way of conversation. It's kind of just a few things to click on and then that's it. But I'm hoping it's new stuff every single time. So. Back for another lesson. I'm always here for a lesson, trash man Zaid. Look at him, he's got his trash bin here. <laughs> so you knew Archangel from before? Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. No. You were a big part of that, though, Zaid. You and him were sniping like crazy over that bridge when me and Morton went on our fucking escapade. I knew this girl once. Asari. Good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going. Until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. <laughs> until she sold me out to the fucking blood pack. Zaid, you have so much stories with mercenaries. You've been killing mercenaries your whole fucking life. Came out the wound. With Jesse in your hand, ready to fucking kill some mercenaries. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. All right, Zaid. Hold on, let me throw this trash out. <laughs> what does Zaid do on the Normandy? Just chill. He plays with trash bin stuff. Keep this area clean. <laughs> Take it easy, Zaid. It's always a pleasure, man. I really like Zaid. I would have loved it if he had just more uh, like cutscene type dialogue. He's such an interesting character, and he's so badass. I just heard. Collectors hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Shit! We're going to make those dirty buggers pay. We sure are, Ken. Anything going on? What can we do for you, Commander? Alright, I can imagine from this point... Yeah, yeah. Will do, Commander. Maybe... The Engineers and Chakwas probably won't have much. I still want to check on them one more time the next time we come back to the Normandy. At least after we do a main mission. And then kind of go from there and see if they have more. But it's still worth going down there because they do seem to have... No messages for you, Commander. Thank you, Kelly. They do seem to have, uh, like, idle banter. Alright, like I said, we have stuff here. This is the further system. Farther, farther. When we come back to Omega, we're going to do some exploring first. We're going to knock out these outer places and then we'll jump back onto Omega and pick up the stuff from Arya. She has missions, there's side missions with her and then there is a bunch of stuff to get in the stores there still. Recruit the convict. Investigate Project Overlord. Citadel of the Master Thief. Oh, the Citadel area is 100%. Local cluster, 100%. Help Zaid, Firewalker, MSV Rosalie, Recruit the Warlord. We have a lot of stuff here. We do. Let's go to the Citadel. Let's go check in and see what the what the council is going to say. The Shepherd just miraculously comes back to life, basically. Shepherd's here. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct proteins. This colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium. Population 13.2 million, not including keepers. Friends, that's serious. We haven't been to the Citadel since the fucking Gathen Sovereign was here. Member of Vina. How <laughs> crazy she was. <laughs> there better be a damn Avina here. I'm gonna talk her ear off. It's always so grand coming into the Citadel. Look at it. I really like this version of it, because it's showing all the people in the background, too. The ascend into Citadel in the first one 
was really good, but this one has all them people was showing. I really like that. I think we should go with Garrus, Psycho Appearances, Information. Garrus is normal loyalty. Concussive shot and overload. Oh, so he has the one that Zaid has. And then he has overload. Ooh, Garrus. That's really good. Friends, I'm going to say it right now. Garrus coupled with, to be honest with you, Morton's really good too. That incinerate was really good. But Garrus and Miranda is probably really, really good. Armor piercing ammo. So you're telling me that Garrus can deal with shields. And he has armor piercing stuff, so he can deal with shields and armor. That's basically the same as Miranda, if you think about it. Because Miranda has warp, which deals with armor. And then she has overload, which deals with shields. But his armor piercing ammo? We're going to do... Let's do Garrus. What's his appearances? Oh. Garrus, you look spacey. Even more spacey than what you already are. Oh. That's an interesting one. I like it. I do. Does it do anything? Special? No. But I feel like I like this one better. I know. It's got a big old gaping hole in it, but... What throws this one off is the lights a little bit. I think the lights are a bit much. It's really badass, though. We'll have to check it out. I think I want to keep him in this one. I want to keep the Battleborn armor on, Garrus. Let's do that. And then... Hold on, actually. Yeah, this one's really awesome looking, though. It doesn't take away the scars on his face, which is good. But I feel like Garrus, when I look at his face, I'm going to always remember the blue eye thing, you know? If it goes the red or orange, it just looks different. And that's not a bad thing. But I still feel like this is your play, Garrus. I really do. We'll do Garrus, and then I want to have more time with Morton. Atticus has three. I want to get the shockwave, but I also want to get throw. Do we keep working in singularity? We have things. Lots of things to do here. Artsimi wants to upgrade Singularity all the way. And then warp. The way I'm thinking here... Let's think ahead. I want to upgrade Singularity all the way. I don't know what the level cap is in this game. I have no idea. But I would like... Now, I'm envisioning this right now. I'm envisioning us upgrading this all the way. Possibly upgrading warp all the way, putting some points in the throw, putting one more point in the here, and getting shockwave and putting points in the shockwave. I feel like that's probably the play more than anything, because throw will be really good. It would knock him across the map pretty much like that it was doing in the first game. And the shockwave, I have no idea, but I really want to try the shockwave. So we put two points here, we'll get one point in shockwave. Or should we... Man, I really want to try that shockwave. I do. Put two points here. One point here. And then after this, we'll... Two points here, one point here. Then we'll start maxing stuff out. Or should we start maxing stuff out now? Undo talents. What does this one do? Singularity duration is 30 seconds. I feel like Singularity is the bread and butter of our build because it blocks stuff off and it comes such in handy with that. It's so much different than the first game. The first game would pick up anybody, no matter what. This game, it works really good when they're not shielded or armored. It picks them up. I feel like the real strength of Singularity is blocking enemies off so they don't rush you. That has saved us so much. But the shock. You launch a string of concussive Mass Effect fields in a narrow path in front of you, violently knocking targets aside. Oh, that sounds so badass. Let's sacrifice and get Shockwave. We'll get one point in the Shockwave for now and see what it's about. And then we'll either do this or this, but I feel like we might need more abilities. 
Yeah. Look at our Renegade and Paragon. It's pretty much going exactly the same together. We have a bit more Paragon, though, to be honest. All right. Garrus. We'll do a Turian Rebel. Garrus' expertise in the rigors of combat increases his health as well as his damage with weapons and powers of all kinds. Let's max this out. Turian Renegade and Turian Survivor. Turian Survivor, long hours alone against impossible odds have conditioned Garrus' health and kept his power sharp. He has power damage plus 25% and health plus 20% and 18% weapon damage. 15% health, 25% power damage, and 25% weapon damage. Let's do Turian Renegade. There you go, Garrus. And then... Well, this doesn't update. What's going on here? Why doesn't this update? If you think about it, because we already got more than two points here. And this... Locked squad member is not loyal. His loyalty said normal. What's that about? All right, let's do concussive shot once more. And then Morton, do you have anything? Morton has two. His normal shock locked. Squad member is not loyal. Crippling and organic. Oh, normal shock was what Caden had in the first game. It was so good. Morton. Snap freezes her targets and then he Oh my word, Morton, you're going to be really good. You have a lockdown ability here that knocks people out, basically. Only organics. And then you got a freeze here that freezes stuff. And then you got a burn? Morton, yeah, you're serious, sir. Well, we have one more to get the cryoblast for that. Okay, that's good. Well, Garrus, collector assault rifle. Let's not put him on that. I want to put Garrus on the Vindicator, since Saeed was on the Matic, let's put him on the Vindicator. And then all we have is the Mantis. Cool. Come on. Let's go to the Citadel. Strategizing. I find it so damn enjoying. I really do. Shepard here. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift? Wait, Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Oh, this is the thing we gotta interact with? Hold on. She's got some banter, it seems. But let's read the quest first. Let's see what we got going on. Dossier the Master Thief. Kasumi Goto, Master of Stealth and Infiltration, skilled hacker and information specialist, operates completely off the grid, no criminal record. Kasumi Goto is not the most famous thief in the galaxy. She's the best. Trained in the arts of stealth and infiltration, she has acquired artifacts and information from all over the galaxy and yet maintains a completely clean criminal record. She's awaiting rendezvous with Shepard on the Citadel in the Sagara Ward. But if she operates off the grid, how the hell did we find her? Elusive Man is just too good. I'm telling you, I have this theory about him having some kind of twist with the Shadow Broker. And then the Council. While they were never completely supportive before, it may still be worth contacting the council and informing them of recent events. We are still a specter, after all. Go to the Citadel and request a meeting with the council. Oh, that's gonna go over. Well, Garrus, you ready for that shit? <laughs> oh, no, is she gonna say more Just stuff? Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. What was the password, though? Kasumi. Travel to the Zakira Ward on the Citadel and input the password Silence is Golden at Kasumi's Hacked Ad Terminal. <laughs> Let's just sit here and listen. What if we just ignore it? Okay, really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? <laughs> we are busy! What is this? Told the Morton on the Keeper? Keepers. Fascinating creatures. Genetic constructs adapted to work in Citadel. Couldn't survive outside. Unknown purpose. Wish I could have studied them. Had other things to do instead. You were a very Shepherd, busy person. You do have the password, right? I absolutely do not, madam. I'll tell the Garrus. Garrus. I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed, but it's just like it was. 
Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. I really could imagine, Garrus. I'm not sure how I'd feel if Commander I was- Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. What does this do, rapid transit? Request new squad member. We can request new squad members from here! Hold on, let's talk to Kasumi. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Cut the crap. Silence is golden, ma'am. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. She's really cool again. Have you been briefed? Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. How did they find you in the first place, though? What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. You sure? What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. You and Cerberus? What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. What deal? Let's head out. Yeah, what deal? I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. Well, there she is. Heist, Donovan Hawk, Grey Box, and Kasumi's partner. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. We go into some kind of party? Donovan Hawk? She said evening wear? Are you talking about... Okay. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. Expecting trouble? Only if there's time? Shepard, there's always time. Them collectors can wait? I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. Gray box? So... Something about a gray box was stolen from this hawk, and we're going to go to his place and steal it back. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Whoa, this hawk person killed him and then stole... Okay, so this gray box is storing this KG Akuda's memories and then... Other things? Other information? And this Donovan Hawk has it? I can see why it's really important to her. Sumi's partner. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. I wanted to hear that again, because even where- Are you talking about like some kind of a party or something that's going on here? Kasumi's partner? Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... Got him killed. Yeah. So this guy meant a lot to her then. You can definitely see. What did it say? What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I got it, I understand. You definitely want to get it back then. Because this person meant a lot to you. 
I see why you want it. I do. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. Indeed it will. I'm not really good at sneaking, though. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. You're really cool, Kasumi. Is this another companion like Zaid? Travel to Beckenstein? Is that our mission? Planet Beckenstein? More glittering than diamonds? Gray boxes. Ooh, okay. I want to read about that. Can we request her as a squad mate, please? We most definitely can. Normal loyalty, shadow strike, overload, flashbang grenade? Heavy pistols and submachine guns. Let's do Garrus and Kasumi. I like that. And Kasumi, the Shrukin, and the Carnifex, yes, I believe that's good. Wait, we need to level her up. Can we level her up? Master Thief. Kasumi's experimentation with her unique abilities increases her health and weapon damage. It also reduces the recharge time of her powers. Health, weapon damage, and power recharge time. Alright, well, let's max it out. Come on. Kasumi, we have a full force thief here. Kasumi specialized in her tech mastery, greatly reducing the recharge time of her powers. Kasumi specializes in weapon combat, increasing her weapon damage. You know? Power recharge time? That power recharge time sounds really good, because she has abilities. I still feel like that weapon damage. Let's just go with the weapon damage. You know what I wonder? And I haven't seen anything on it yet, and it probably is not a thing. It definitely wasn't a thing in the first game, but I wonder if there is a way to actually respec ourselves and other people. Because I'm actually really torn about this. The power recharge time sounds really good. I would be torn about this if I was the one picking between these two for Shepard. Because our power recharge time, it seems really important, more than weapons. But then again, our weapons kind of hit like wet noodles, like I was saying. And the weapon damage will be really good. Let's do the weapon damage. I don't think we can go wrong with weapon damage. And then this shadow strike. Kasumi specializes in weapon combat, increasing her weapon. Oh, no. Cloak and sneak behind a target to deliver a devastating blow that does massive damage and incapitates weaker enemies. Incapitation duration, five seconds. So it incapitates them for five seconds, stuns them, kind of like Noroshock. Damage, 300 points. Recharge time, 9 seconds. Oh. It's 9 seconds for that. I wonder what would happen if we picked the other recharge time. So she has overload. Flashbang grenade. Ooh, Kasumi, you got some good stuff here. I want to check this out. This sounds really good. I've never seen... This is new. This is definitely new. Alright, come on. Let's get in to the Citadel. We have not got in anywhere yet and talked to the council. This Where recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot! <laughs> sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. 
This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> that is why Sir Isaac Newton is the baddest ass mother ever in space, period. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Oh, Feel the weight. Oh, man. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. Me? What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. You humans are all racist. What is this over here, Galactic News? The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The Council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. What? Anderson's on the Council, yeah? Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Since Eden Prime, an initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn, as the public became skeptical that the Alliance can match Geth technology. Well, Geth technology is pretty advanced. Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega have been laid to rest, as the disease is now under control. Charles Saraceno, leader of the Terra Firma party and former Alliance Parliament candidate, has pled guilty to tax evasion. He is in custody pending sentencing. <laughs> Remember that motherfucker in the first game? We talked to him right towards the end, right when we were about to steal the Normandy. He was trying to get us to vote for Terra Firma, and we said hell no. Captain Hannah Shepard has apparently turned down an Admiral Star and will remain in command of the Orizaba. The captain deemed her promotion to Admiral a political ploy and said that she could best honor her child's legacy by captaining a ship. Shepard, have you told your mom that you're alive? I forgot about that. Have you at least sent her a message? Probably not. An independent inquiry is investigating a group known as Cerberus in light of charges made by one Corporal Toombs and testimony by an apparent Cerberus scientist. A researcher known only as Dr. Wayne has been promised immunity and has suggested Cerberus may also be tied to the death of Admiral Kohoku several years ago. They really are, huh? Almost forgot about Kohoku stuff. The Systems Alliance Parliamentary Subcommittee for Transhuman Studies has awarded reparations for biotics suffering complications from L2 implants. Subcommittee Chairman Burns thanked biotics everywhere for their patience and understanding and promised more help for those forgotten by the system until now. You were about to get your ass killed, Burns. Shepard saved your ass and now he's actually doing good things for biotics? That is really awesome the to hear. The Syrian government is considering further reparations to humans whose ancestors died in the Relay 314 incident at Shashi. The Turian government previously made reparations from what humans call the First Contact War, but refused to pay interest. The Turian hierarchy has supported improved relations with humanity since the Alliance's heroic sacrifice defending the Citadel from Saren's attack two years ago. That's really cool. A council inquiry has concluded that a combat BI that went rogue on Luna was not intentionally upgraded to full AI status. Alliance members have maintained that the BI was for combat testing purposes only. Given these findings, it is unlikely any charges will be filed. Remember that VI on Luna? That's where we got our specialization in the first game. That was actually a really cool mission. And the whole numbers at the end. Remember the sequence of numbers that came up? We were talking about what that actually meant, and it meant help me. So that was really fucking interesting, that whole mission. Biomedical firm Serta Foundation is reporting a medical breakthrough against a new strain of interspecies influenza. The development comes as a result of samples contaminated during a biotic attack on their research center two years ago. Fortunately, there were few casualties. Whoa, there's so much to learn here about the news and what's going on in the world. We're finding out, like, things that happened in the first game. This little galactic news thing is answering questions that may have been looming in our minds, like... What happened to Burns tombs? Like all this other stuff. Now we're it's like piecing together things. That's really cool. Celebrations are planned across Terra Nova for the upcoming anniversary of the thwarted terrorist attack on the colony. Former hostage Kate Bowman is expected to read a thank you message to Alliance soldiers who rescued her. The Batarian terrorist responsible for the attack on the colony, known only as Balak, remains at large. That motherfucker. We're gonna find him one of these days. Shepherd Memorial Plaza on Elysium was voted this year's hottest wedding location. 
Admiral Hackett's orders, money raised from wedding fees goes to funds for Alliance veterans. <laughs> Explorer ships have reported seeing vessels of an unknown make, but whose silhouette strongly resembles ancient Rachni ship profiles. The few ships sighted have been small scouting vessels that rapidly retreated. The Council has pledged a full investigation. The Rachni are moving about. They're seeing what's going on. We let them go in the first game, remember? The Asari Shaira, more commonly known as the Consort, has declined to name the next race likely to gain Council membership. However, she suggested an announcement could come soon. Well, there we go. Good on you, Shaira. Commander Shepard. He uncovered Saren's plan, defeated the Geth army, and died in the final days of the fight. Or did he? Witnesses report seeing him alive on Omega. Shepard is here. You know the elusive man probably leaked that shit. I guarantee it. Because it would just help his cause. Cerberus cause if Shepard was actually working for Cerberus. Seriously. Two years after a Geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colony of Zoo's Hope has announced plans for an expansion. We are learning so much. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, who died fighting Saren on Vermeer, was posthumously awarded the Salarian Silver Dagger and the Turian Nova Cluster. Williams served proudly with non-human crew members, and was once heard to say, Human or alien, we're all just animals. She is the first Alliance soldier to receive either award. We are all just animals. Good on you, Ash. <laughs> I'm happy she got an award for what she did on Vermeer. I still, that was such a hard decision to make, friends. Oh, I still can't believe we left Ash Later there. Today, we interview Counselor Anderson. A tireless former soldier has put down his guns to build bridges with numerous trade treaties. Tune in and find out what the man behind Commander Shepard's rise to fame thinks is the greatest threat to intergalactic stability. Uh, Reapers? Yes? The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked human alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. I feel like we've heard these, though. Like, on Omega. Were we not hearing some of these things? I remember hearing the Ash one on Omega, and I feel like I heard the Destiny Ascension one, too. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The Council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. Okay. I feel like we're recycling it now. That's really awesome. We learned so much. I'm happy we sat there. Alright, come on. Let's get into the Citadel. Shall we? We haven't even made it in the Citadel yet. <laughs> What's going on here? I swear to God, I didn't touch anything. <laughs> Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're dead. This is annoying. I'm not surprised. Technically, I was. Yeah, we did die. And, well, corpse status now, friend. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Talk to Bailey. Talk to Captain Bailey at CSEC office in Zakira Ward. Let's look at that. Journal! Oh, it's a main mission. Captain Bailey runs the local CSEC office in Zakira Ward. He may have useful information. Talk to Captain Bailey at CSEC office in Zakira Ward on the Citadel. Alright, well, come on. I just, I know I say it a lot about how awesome this game really is. But the whole fact is that we just learned so much stuff just like on demand right then and there. That was really enjoyable. And to me, that's such a missable thing, probably. If you don't just go and, and click on them. Because I feel like all that stuff we just listened to are things that was playing in the background of Omega. It, it will probably play here, too. It just seems like things that are playing like it's a radio or broadcast or something. And we just listened to them all. And I'm so happy we got all that knowledge in about what actually happened with all with some of the things that we did in the first game. Look, You'll there's have Amina. to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yeah, you gotta make him scream a little, he says. Hold on. We're just gonna walk past this guy? See ya. I'm not talking to you. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. 
My console says you're dead. Identifying me? Can you fix it? Are you not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. I'm loving this guy's haircut. Maybe we should have gave Atticus that hair. Leave it alone. Can you fix it? Yeah, I would love it if you can fix it. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs. Then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. Go ahead and press that button. The enter button, probably? This motherfucker said a year of tax invasion. I think it was two years, wasn't it? Is that legal? Just press the button. Couldn't one of us or both of us get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. It's kind of odd seeing a human here, though. The only human we've seen in CSEC before was... Well, we've seen that one guy that was nice. I can't remember his name fully. He was, like, so excited to see Shepard, remember? And then there was... Harkin. Well, we have this guy, and his name is Captain Bailey. So he's a captain, so he's up there. Interesting. Humanity must be doing good for themselves, kinda, in a way. Seems a bit irregular. Do it. Seems a bit irregular. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. Scaly asses? Oh, goodness. I guess scaly asses is better than hairy asses. Because most humans probably have hairy asses. How do I get there from here? That's my plan. Screw the fucking council. Call them for me, Bailey, so I can hang up on them motherfuckers. How do I get there? We hung up on the council every single fucking time in the first game. Besides when they called for help at the end of the game with the Destiny Ascension. How do I get there from here? What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Head back through the security checkpoint? The way we just came? That's my plan. Screw the council. Uh, you know, let's go to the council. I will. Having access to the council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Let me go ahead and pick your brain here. Oh, most definitely. Sovereign Attack, this is what I wanted to know. I wanted to know about what's been going on since the Reaper attack. I want to know where the wind is blowing here, because it seems like, so far, with all these people leaving the CSEC, or leaving the Citadel, CSEC, basically Garrus leaving, they're not probably believing in the Reapers anymore. Sovereign Attack, if they even ever believed in the Reapers. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Interesting. And this was two years ago? Yeah, about... Two and a half years, probably, maybe-ish, give or take. Get to the council? I need to talk to the council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Zakira Ward? Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Salarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. 
We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a Quarian the other day. A Quarian? Nice. Allie? Maybe? Please? I know there are Quarians that aren't Allie, but still. Abusing suspects. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. See, Garrus? And that's why I thought you left, because you didn't want to deal with poodles shitting on people's lawns. Because to me, in the fucking Presidium, that seemed to be literally the most thing to worry about there. I mean, there was the preaching stuff, but it's so tranquil, so nice. There's nothing to do. Humans in CSEC? Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. All right, Bailey, it's been a pleasure. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Hold on, I do. Yes? Why'd you join CSEC? Yeah. How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined CSEC so I could stay in one place, put down roots. Yeah, but how do you like it? You like life here on the Citadel? Yeah, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. Sockeye salmon is delicious, sir. It truly is. You miss Earth? You ever get back there? Earth? Every couple of years. Less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with CSEC, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm going to retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. What, are you going to take your family there with you? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. I should be going, Bailey. Oh, we got a Vino. I feel like we are never going to get to the council. Friends, there is going... Oh, let's look at the map. Holy shit. Okay, we are here. Captain Bailey's here. We got Zakara Cafe. Com Terminal. Saronis Applications. Serta Foundation. Warehouse. Oh, there's a lot of shit here. Look at the dollar sign. So it's a shot that we go to for sure. Alvina? Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC Security Cordon. CSEC presence, get to the council, sovereign attack, and stores. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. Did it work? How charmingly fascist? Did it work though? So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. Well, good on you all then. Is it a council? I need to talk to the council. How can I reach the Presidium from here? Public transit shuttles are available on the far side of the C6 security cordon. Can we say this again and say the bottom one? I want to see what happens. There seem to be a lot more C6 officers. In the officers. wake of. In addition to increased C6 patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. How charmingly fast <laughs> Sounds like a police state to me. That topic is beyond the scope of my programming. Come on, Avina. Sovereign's attack? It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. What about the Reaper? Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They're really selling the Geth did it message. 
I bet you can't even say Reapers without inciting a panic. Reapers! <laughs> Reapers! <laughs> that was fucking great, Kasumi! They are fucking selling it. They're selling it to where Reapers don't even exist. Are you serious? I hate to say it, but don't be so dumb. <laughs> Friends, what's going to happen when the Reapers actually come? If they come, if we don't stop them from fucking coming completely, like, they're not going to be ready. No one's going to fucking care, and the Reapers are just going to fucking destroy everybody. Seriously, take it into consideration that the Reapers may be real. Reapers. Oh my word, Kasumi, that was absolutely great. <laughs> what stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. Starship models. That's okay. all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. There's things and stuff to do. There's shops here. I want to go to the damn council first. I want to go to the council. We haven't been able to get to the council, and I feel like we... She said the rapid transit? Hold on, what's this? Shepard, are you looking to continue your education? It's one thing to know how to shoot a gun. But do you have the career skills to deploy and manage today's high-tech network infrastructures? The Henley Technical Institute can help. Courses available through our extranet site will put you on the path to success. Visit our site now at keywords Henley Technical Education. How do you know me? Shepard, it's been two years since you had a job. Isn't it time you rectified that? <laughs> Exciting opportunities await Alliance citizens like you on the Outworld colonies. Third stage colonists are being recruited for Exogeny Corporation's Pharaohs facility. Visit your local colonial administration office to sign up today. So, it makes me wonder if Exogeny has actually been doing good for them. Maybe they have, to be honest. But damn Exogeny in the first game, friends. What a bunch of scumbags. Remember Jung? <laughs> You're a being pole, Jung. I'm a specter. <laughs> What, you're a Turian? You're selling Batarian food? This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But Saren won't stop there. <laughs> His geth aren't going to stay on the fringes of Citadel space. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! The Citadel's closing! They're sealing the station! <laughs> Is surrender not preferable to extinction? Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance! This summer... Humanity earns its place among the stars. Citadel, <laughs> a film by Risa Uferson, presented by Aridani Films. <laughs> this is fucking great! Shepard, are you looking for a good time? Drinks from a hundred worlds? Games? Perhaps a little companionship? The Dark Star, one level up. I'll see you there. We, uh, need to go there? I feel like she was sending shivers down my spine with just talking. I'm telling you, it just... She must have been mind-melding us there. Shepard, are you looking to continue your education? It's one thing to know how to shoot a gun. But do you have the managerial and actuarial skills required? That was awesome, friends. That really was. Competitive market. The Come on. Swain School of Business can help. The courses available Let's The Presidium, home of the Human Embassy. Request squad members. Oh, we can go to the other. Oh my word! There's one, two, three, four, five different places to go. To. The Citadel is huge, just like the first game, pretty much. Okay, let's go to Presidium. Let's talk to the Council. Let's see what the hell's going on. I love the Citadel. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. 
As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. Good to see you, old friend. What's up, Anderson? How's Udina doing? You've been beating him up lately? It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his geth. You mean Sovereign's geth? I need your help. You mean Sovereign's geth? I don't answer to you. Yeah. It was fucking Sovereign and his geth. Saren wasn't the one commanding the geth. It was the Reaper, Sovereign. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. What? Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Ah, yes, Reapers. Reapers? <laughs> These motherfucking people on the Citadel are just in the galaxy. No one believes in the Reapers anymore. The only one that believes in it is Anderson. They probably do not like Anderson whatsoever. Friends, seriously. Udina probably would have been there as well with the council not believing in the Reapers. Anderson's probably having such a hard time on the council. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real. Just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth. One you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. We believe that you believe it, but it most definitely is not true. That was not a fucking Geth ship. Are you serious? How do you think that was a Geth ship? How do they not believe us? We saved Citadel. We literally sacrifice human lives to say that that's the Ascension and the Council, and they still don't believe us. Listen, we don't need to hold that over the Council's head. Yes, we saved you. You owe us everything. No, that's not how it works. But still, believe us a little bit. Seriously, all the shit that went down in the first game and you still don't believe. Ah, yes, Reapers. <laughs> Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. Did you know something? You want to know something crazy? Did you know that the Reapers created the Citadel and the mass relays? The fucking council would shit their small clothes if we told them that. Cerberus was right about you. I deserve better than this. So you won't help me? I deserve better than this. Yes, you do, Shepard. You deserve way better than this shit. Let's hang up on him. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. Wait. The first game, we couldn't go into the Terminus systems. Now, Shepard, as long as you keep your ass in the Terminus systems, we will let you stay as a Spectre. I kind of like that. At least no one's going to bother us, I guess. Reinstatement. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I guess I understand fully 
Terminus systems and Citadel space don't really get along. You can't really go into the Terminus system. So, I understand fully. But I'm not understanding the, ah, yes, Reapers theory of not being true. Garrus, you see this shit? What the hell's going on? I'm honored. I guess that's all. Screw you. <laughs> we can tell him to fuck off. Honestly, it's still an honor to become a Spectre, to be a Spectre. Let's just stay on good terms with the Council, because what can harm the situation? Look, if all shit does hit the fan, and literally the Reapers do come, we still do need the Council support. Without the Council support, what could we do? We can only go so far. Cerberus can only take stuff so far. I feel like we should just play it safe for now. Say we're honored? Yeah. Let's stay buddy-buddy, get our Spectre stuff, possibly use the Council if we have to, and then go from there. Ah, yes, Reapers, supposedly. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well... That went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Good, I guess. No need to hang up on them. Shepard said I'm not filing reports anymore? No. Seriously, though. I mean, the whole thing with them not believing. How can they not believe? You gotta believe something. They really do think Shepard is crazy. They truly, honestly do. And they said that they can't get caught up in... Okay, so I guess I agree. They can't get caught up in human lives, you know, human humanity being taken in the Terminus system. But Anderson wouldn't stand by if this shit was happening here on this side, not the Terminus systems. And they probably wouldn't either. So I get that. No need to burn bridges, just keep them out of my way. Honestly, Anderson, it is no need to burn bridges. It is what it is. It feels good to be reinstated as a Spectre. And we'll see how far that can go. Because now we can go anywhere the hell, any hell, anywhere we want. Basically, we're already going anywhere we want. But this intensifies it even more. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. <laughs> What are you doing here? I don't need this, Anderson. What the hell is this scumbag doing here? Right, I don't need this. I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. <laughs> the feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? Relax, the meeting went fine. I don't deal in politics. I mean, it went good, Odina. Don't burst the fucking vessel here. The council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Odina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. <laughs> Good day to both of you. Go to your fucking office. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Why don't you fire him? It didn't bother me. Yeah, fire his ass. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus... He's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. I guess that makes sense, Anderson. It really does. The damage to the Citadel that remains a sovereign, the war with the Geth, and Caden Alenko! Let's save the best for last. Let's save Caden for last. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. 
We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Is there something to do with the Reapers, Anderson? They have some kind of Reaper technology they're using. The remains of Sovereign. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could, but between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. They're never going to want to acknowledge it. They won't acknowledge it until it's there slapping them in the damn face. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. I can understand. The War with the Geth, Caden Alenko. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Alenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Alenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Anderson, really? You can't tell us about... Caden? Whoa, it must be really important then. I can understand if it's super important to where they don't want to put it out there. He don't even want to put it out there to us. It must be that type of hush-hush mission that he's on. How have you been? How have you been, Anderson? How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? They're just trying to stay sane, though, if you think about it. The council and what they're basically putting out for other people, the innocents around, just randoms, they're trying to make it to where the Reapers weren't real because it would incite so much panic and people would be so scared all the time. They might even cease to function. If you think about it, it's nightmarish stuff. It really is. So I guess I kind of understand the fact that they're not believing in it, but seriously, inside their minds, do they really all not believe a little bit? If any of them would believe, you would think that the Turian probably would. He was the most to go against it. I don't think any of them believe anymore. Seriously, don't. You should come with me. Yeah, Anderson, fuck the council. Give that shit to Udina and come with me. Forget Udina and the council. Join my crew and help me stop the collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. Anderson, it was good talking to you again. Sorry for all the shit that's going on. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. But I can trust you. And that's all that matters. We can't trust Cerberus, friends. I don't feel like we fully can. But in the same aspect, I feel like, well, we're joining the right team here. We're doing the right thing. It must be so crazy. Seriously. Could you imagine what Anderson thinks? Oh my word, Shepard just walked the fuck in my office. After two years of being dead. And now we're back with this Black Ops group from the Alliance Cerberus. It must be crazy. And then the council. Kasumi and the council. Oh my word. Kasumi's saying Reapers and then the counselor going, oh yes, Reapers. <laughs> it's going to be a big joke now. The Reapers are a big fucking joke. A big myth. Shepard, you are a crazy person. They think you're in a funny farm, sir. Oh my word. What is this? Excuse me. You spying on Anderson? So we're picking her nose. Picking winners, are we? All right, well, let's jump into the codex. Let's see something at least before we head out. Do we have anything to be read to us? No. That's fine. We have stuffs and ships and vehicles and 
Master Thief Kasumi's Secrets. Let's read Gray Boxes. A neural recall simulator, also known as a gray box, is a device implanted in the brain to assist and prioritize memory. Originally developed to slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease. Gray boxes function by helping the amygdala chunk incoming stimuli into recognizable pieces of memory consolidation. Each memory is assigned a shape and sensation from other memories, trying the concepts together into a block that is more easily recalled. When Synthetic Insights first released them onto the market in 2140, gray boxes were hailed as a way humans could level the playing field between themselves and the Solarians, whose neural eidetic memories gave them an advantage. However, because the implant procedure of a gray box requires the brain to irreversibly shift its workload over to the machine, software bugs or attempted removal of the gray box for maintenance purposes could lead to incapacitating brain damage. For this reason, gray boxes soon became used only by those with dire need for photographic memories such as researchers and spies. In 2175, scale of implantation of gray boxes were outlawed by the Systems Alliance following an incident with Abraham Rumai, an employee of the Alliance Intelligence Agency. Rumai was believed to be a professional con man and thief named Keiji Akuda, who accused and sold classified data. However, prosecuting attorneys were unable to use is assisted memories as evidence due to the Alliance court system's prohibitions against self-incrimination. Based on the Fifth Amendment of the old U.S. Constitution, Ramai soon disappeared off the map following his trial, further heightened suspicion that he was Okuda and living off in ill-gotten gains. When found outside a human head, gray boxes are usually assessed with a specialized reader, a separate decryption key is almost required, as users with data sensitive enough to require a gray box inevitably install their own encryption. Wow, a bunch of tongue tires there. But that's so interesting. These gray boxes, so they're outlawed basically. And this Okuda may be the person that is Ramai. Probably is, actually. I can see why she wants to get this back then. If it, if it houses all these memories of basically what this Okuda person was and then just the secrets that he knows, I can see why she wants to get it back. Planet Beckenstein? More glittering than diamonds, more expensive than surgery is how travel agents describe this planet behind closed doors. Given the opportunity to colonize planets after the first contact war, the Systems Alliance chose Beckenstein to be their trading arm. Producing goods to be sold on the nearby citadel, cracking the vast galactic marketplace proved difficult. The first human products sold on novelty alone, then lack of demand hit Beckenstein's economy hard. Only in the second generation of colonists did the planet first, the planet find a sustainable niche in high quality entertainment and luxury goods. Once brand awareness sunk in, aliens flocked to Beckenstein many space ports. The planet today boasts more millionaires and billionaires per capita than any other human colony. Though its crime tends to be white collar and non-violent, Beckenstein is not without its dark side. Both its suicide rate and inflation are extremely high compared to other worlds. Unemployment is artificially low because few people immigrate to the expensive planet without having a job lined up. And the cost of living is so great that unemployed workers typically leave for kinder planets after just a few months. Those who stay see themselves as tougher, sharper, and more skillful than the rest, as well as capable of getting respect and employment on any lesser planet. As a popular song says, if you can make it on the back, you got them by the neck. Interesting. All we have left is ships and vehicles, and there's probably a few things in there and nothing in here. Cool. 
Well, we're getting caught up. We have things and stuff still on the Citadel that I would like to deal with, friends. We are in good with the council again. Well, I guess as good as we can get. We have Kasumi's stealing memory to do. Zaid's price of revenge. The dossier on the warlord and the convict. Two more dossiers. Stop the collectors. Anything in Simus? We have N7 lost operative. Archangel data pad recovered. Oh, this is for Arya. Two things for Arya. Normandy special ingredients, which is here on the Citadel. Let me read this because it's on the Citadel. The Normandy's cook would appreciate special ingredients to make better food. Most of the supplies he wants are at the Citadel. We will do that next episode. We'll try to find these ingredients somewhere. Go to the Citadel and purchase the special ingredients. All right, well, that's what we got on the Citadel so far. We have an Overlord, something Overlord. Project Fireworker and Normandy Crash Site. I think when we go back to Omega, we're going to do Normandy Crash Site. And then the thing in the farther system, this one here, the Lost Operative. And then we'll go see Arya. When we come back next episode, we're going to tackle the rest of the Citadel. Explore about. I want to hit up the shops here and see if there's any more upgrades. How much money do we have? We have 48,000 credits. Really can't buy that much stuff. We really can't. But I still want to hit up the shops and see what we can get. There might be some cheap things. I mean, you never know. Might be more Fornax magazines, probably. Anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.